Hi, this is Doug Frank coming to you with an Angus Sire Alliance update. We recently received the spring 2015 Sire Alliance data from Circle A Angus Ranch. That information has also been submitted to the American Angus Association and is reflected in the carcass and performance EPDs of our bulls as of December 26th. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the highlights of that new evaluation. Uh, probably the most complete um, new graduate to come out of the Sire Alliance on this run uh, is the High Noon Bull. Um, he is a son of the Sire Alliance All-Star um, MCC Daybreak. Uh, he's followed his sire very well, uh, really a balanced bull across the board. Uh, he's a top five bull uh, for total profit index, top five active bull for total profit index, as well as the top 25% for maternal index and the top 35% for feed efficiency. Uh, if you look at uh, his EPDs from week to week, uh, he improved on this last run from $113 to $120 for dollar B. Again, reflective of that carcass data that's come in. Uh, moved him up six pounds for carcass weight, moved him up slightly for marbling. Uh, again, he held his own very well for ribeye area. So a bull I think that can do us a lot of good this spring. He's a double digit Cavanese bull, a little bit more of a moderate birth weight bull, uh, solid growth and performance, outstanding heifer pregnancy. Again, really strong overall carcass data uh, reflected uh, in these steers that were recently harvested. Uh, again, as I mentioned, he's a top five uh, active bull for us. We had another bull that also joined the top five active bulls and that's New Era. I'd say he was probably the, the, the highest anticipated new graduate for us. Uh, he was a bull that was selected for his feed efficiency uh, and it looks like he's been able to transmit that really well. Uh, in particular, from a growth and performance standpoint, when you look at where he ranks for, uh, for feed efficiency, he's number four. Uh, he's top uh, top 2% for feed efficiency, top 1% for average daily gain. That's where most of his efficiency comes from. Um, relative to the other bulls with that kind of gain, he's better for intake, uh, but he's an exceptional average daily gain bull. Uh, if you look at what that did, he also made some pretty big moves on this latest sire summary. Uh, again, if you'll remember, he started out as a pretty average growth, uh, pretty average kind of carcass merit bull. Um, as these progeny were harvested, it moved him up pretty significantly uh, for yearling weight. Uh, took him from 104 to 118 for yearling weight EPD uh, and really benefited him from an overall carcass merit standpoint. He increased 17 pounds for carcass weight, um, stayed basically about the same for marbling and increased pretty dramatically for ribeye area as well from a plus 0.04 to a plus 0.60 for ribeye area. Uh, all in all, that gave him a huge move for dollar B. Took him from an eighty dollar B bull up to one hundred and eleven seventy nine for overall dollar B index. So again, I think this is a bull. The, the feed efficiency is there again, driven primarily by growth and performance. Uh, he's a bull that you can use to add performance, to add frame size. He's going to be a bigger frame, later maturing kind of bull, and a bull that's certainly going to add some feed efficiency as well. Again, if you look at where he fits um, on the graph, uh, the scatter graph, as you look at average daily gain on one axis, intake on the other, again, he's at a very, very high level for average daily gain EPD. And if you compare him to the other bulls in that plane for average daily gain, there's, there's few of those bulls that are as low as he is for intake. Uh, really, the only other bull up in that area that can kind of, that's better than he is for intake would be Bruiser. And I'm going to switch in now, I guess, to uh, some of the mainstays. I think really the go-to bulls, in addition to these new graduates, uh, Bruiser continues to be the number one uh, active bull for both total profit uh, and for feed efficiency. At the same time, he's a top 2% maternal index bull. Uh, he's a bull that's a very good semen producer. Again, I think a bull that we can count on, uh, rely on very heavily uh, for this spring. Uh, Absolute, again, really didn't change any at all. Uh, remains, I think, one of the most complete bulls in the entire industry today. When you look at the Cavanese, the birth to yearling spread, uh, the overall carcass merit, and again, it's that Sire Alliance data that differentiated him uh, from the other final answer sons out there, moved him up to 89 for marbling, uh, 89 for ribeye area as well, and the bull that's 125 for dollar B, 65 for dollar W uh, on the new scale as well. Uh, you know, there's no doubt he'll be our high-selling bull again this year. The only limitation will be how much semen he can produce. 
Uh, I would expect, like last year, we'll probably sell out again. We'll need to be looking at some alternative bulls as we get later in the spring. Uh, Broken Bow, I think, is one of the bulls we need to take a very close look at. If you look at how similar he is to Absolute, uh, from a Cavanese, uh, identical birth weight, similar weaning performance, uh, only $3 difference for $B between Absolute and Broken Bow. Again, double-digit Cavanese, over 100 pounds of yearling growth, really strong hundreds for $B index. A uh, bull that's in the top 10% for total profit, top 15% for maternal index uh, through the Sire Alliance as well. Moving into some of the other key contributors for the spring would be some of the bulls that excel from a maternal index standpoint. Uh, Counselor leads that group at 374.96. Uh, he's the number one maternal index bull. Um, he's also really, really strong from a total profit standpoint. Uh, top 3% for feed efficiency as well. Uh, the best news on this bull is he is producing again. Uh, we do have limited availability on him. Again, he should hit his stride, uh, should be in better shape as we move in uh, to the rest of the spring. And again, if you look at that data package on him, 13 CED, big birth yearling spread, strong carcass merit, really good indexes across the board. Also a bull that excels for heifer pregnancy and for docility at the same time. Uh, again, I think really probably the only limitations on this bull are going to be what he can produce this spring. And again, once he hits his stride, he's a bull that has been a pretty good semen producer. Uh, Destination 630 right behind him from a maternal index standpoint. Uh, the old Destination 928 bulls made a lot of friends with his daughters around the country. Uh, should see similar type and kind, similar maternal performance. Uh, with destination 630 and again a bull that's in the top three percent uh, for total profit index top 20 percent uh, for feed efficiency index as well again probably the most reliable bull uh, from an accuracy standpoint uh, and maternal standpoint through the sire alliance is still uh, impression the bull again that continues to produce uh, we continue to have pretty good availability on him. Uh, I think a bull that just gains more and more respect from producers that have used him across the country. Another bull that changed a little bit on this evaluation was one of the reference sires uh, for this particular class of bulls, and that was Complement. Uh, Complement stayed uh, very similar in terms of his average daily gain, but it was his intake data uh, that improved with this run. Uh, that's made him a much more interesting bull across the board. He's a top 35% total profit bull. He's a top 10% efficiency bull. Um, and he's just out of the top 35% and the top 40% for maternal index as well. And to kind of finish up here, just um, the safeguard bull. Um, maybe not a big winner in terms of his sire reliance data. Um, these were high performance cattle, but they were higher intake cattle at the same time. But with that said, his carcass data lived up to and, in fact, really exceeded expectations um, on this run. Uh, again, we, he had big expectations going in. He actually beat them from a carcass weight standpoint, right on track from a marbling perspective, uh, and beat his ribeye projections as well. All in all, that moved him up almost another $5 for dollar B index uh, from 130 up to 135.48. Uh, so where he was one of our strongest dollar B bulls, um, he's even a little bit stronger um, now as well. Just want to wrap up this brief overview. Just talked about 10 bulls here, but I think 10 really important bulls, really the heart of our lineup when you look at top selling bulls like Absolute. Several other bulls that I think can follow them to the top of our lineup because of the unique value they bring to our commercial customers. Uh, these bulls progeny have been measured from birth all the way through to harvest. Uh, in particular, the unique 17 years worth of feed efficiency data uh, that we have behind us through the Angus Sire Alliance provides a wealth of information to our customers. Uh, look for more data and more information in the upcoming Spring 2015 Sire Directory.